far behind everybody else? Maybe it's just me not having a job or a direction for that matter, but I just feel like I don't know where I'm going. Aren't you supposed to know more after you graduate college? Allegedly. So I see you've packed up all, all of her stuff. You know, it took me three months longer than expected. Well, I have the perfect remedy. I fucking hate being single. The dating pool for us is so small. That's shit, is what it is. Uh, yeah, exactly. And what do I do with a guy who actually is willing to accept me? I throw it away. Okay, things are gonna pick up, I promise. You can't promise that. Okay, you're right, I can't. But I can bring some positivity to your day. Because you've been looking a little gloomy lately. Okay, so while I'm out of the house, I have some errands to run. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, text me later. Uh, oh, are we still on for moving out on Friday? I'll bring the snacks. Yeah. Sure. Sounds fun. Great. See you later. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just, uh, new to this. Didn't realize I was being tailed by the paparazzi. Huh. I think in the movies they call this a meet cute. Tommy, otherwise known as the guy who fell on his ass. Uh, uh, Peter, also known as paparazzi. In case the paparazzi needs more intel. Give me a text sometime. Timing with the breakup and everything, I don't really think I'm in the right headspace for it. But enough about me. What about you? Did you call Tree Guy? Uh, no. Isn't it weird that we still call him Tree Guy and not by his actual name? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so there's a reason why I haven't been in a relationship. And a good one. Our generation is so fucked up with Tinder and fast dating. I, like, how are we supposed to find someone? You may have just found someone. Yeah. Might have. God, how fucking scary is that? Oh, why can't I just live under a rock? It would be so much easier in this shit show. Look, I know it is no fucking fun trying to find somebody, but maybe, just maybe, he'll accept you for who you are. But you can't find anybody without taking the leap. Just start with one date. That's it, just, just one. And see how it goes. Don't worry, I'll be there to help you. On the phone, not actually there, no third wheeling.
Hello? So, it's Iris. I've been trying to call you. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm just not in the best place right now. Well, get your gorgeous ass up off the couch and come meet me. You need to get out. Iris. No, I really, I don't. This isn't up for debate. You need to stop wallowing about Oliver and start living your life. How did you? How did I know about you and Oliver? It's called the internet, weirdo. I'm gonna send you where I am, okay? All right, now get out of your sweatpants and come meet me. Fine, but it better not be too far though. Zoe, you need to start learning how to live a little. Uh-huh, okay, I'll see you there. You better. Yeah. Yeah. So long. Okay, introduction. Okay, so this is Nadia and Alice. Hey, nice hey. to meet you. Hi. Everyone, this is Zoe. I went to college with her my first time around. We need to show Zoe a good time because um, she's in, in a bit of a post breakup funk. Want some chips? Uh, really? Yeah. What? It's good with the beer. Oh, so, um, Alice, how do you know everybody? I roomed with Iris in college, and Nadia I met in third year. So, do you want a beer? Oh, yeah. I'll give this a try. Yeah, it's the spirit. Hi, weirdo. Hey. Uh, come in. Great. So, what's going on? Honestly, you said some pretty deep stuff last night. I'm sure that wasn't the beer talking? If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I'm just leaving the door open. I know that you and Oliver were together for a long time. And being single can suck. But it can also be really fun. Three years. We were together for three years. How do you just get over someone like that? Who saw you through so much? Who gave you hope when you didn't know it existed? You try to find it within yourself? That old chestnut. It it was in you the whole time. It may be true, but it's still infuriating. It's like trying to dig through coal to find a diamond. So, I don't think it has to be that hard. Okay, point taken. Honestly, dating is a shit show for everyone right now. <laughs> yeah, it may be even worse when 90% don't want you anyway for who you are. Asexual is not a word anyone really wants to hear on a date. And if you're lucky enough, you find someone who isn't gonna run away and... What did I do with that? I threw it away. So, uh... Lunch? Lunch. 
much. So you've never been in a relationship? No, nope, never. I miss that. Before I met Oliver, I was so used to being single and I don't know how to get back there now. It's hard. Because, you know, dating is everywhere in our society. Sex is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't need to tell you that. <laughs> but, you know, there's kind of a freedom in being single. In being able to discover who you are without having to think about caring about someone else. To discover your dreams and chase them as much as you want. Yeah, the thing is, I don't really know what my dream is. I don't even know where to start looking. Zoe, it's so good to see you again. Hey, good to see you too. So, what's with the summer day? Yeah. So everybody says that your, your 20s is the time to discover yourself. Easier said than done. Yeah, right? So, how did you guys both know that you found what you wanted to do? A lot of trial by fire. Uh, you know, I, I had so many different phases, I can't even count. And I'm not even sure that I've found the one. Follow what makes you happy in the moment. Whatever that is, that's the one. In that moment anyways. I hope you weren't waiting long. No, not at all. So where are you taking me? You'll see. So you said you were in school. Yeah, kind of a late starter, I guess. English literature at U of T. What about you? Uh, I just graduated in May, actually. Photography at George Brown. Uh -huh. Shy artist. I like it. This is kind of a hole in the wall. How'd you hear about it? Pizza tour of Toronto. Oh, foodie, are we? <laughs> so, the fun thing about this park is you can actually feel the subway in there. Kind of like a tiny little bit.
this is a little cliche, but this right here, it's, it's important, and you're going to learn from this. And then when that next special person comes along, you're going to be ready. You're going to be okay? You guys have been going out for how long? About six weeks. And you haven't done anything? Well, we've kissed and we've cuddled. But, uh, no. Nothing beyond that. Just afraid to lose himself. I know, but you can't keep this up. You just have to tell him and hope for the best. It's easy for you to say. I mean, it must be so much easier being sex positive because at least there's the possibility, right? Oh yeah, a possibility that the assholes will try and like convert me. Just because I enjoy it doesn't make it any easier. It just leaves even more room for confusion and infuriating remarks. Okay, but how much different would yours and Oliver's relationship be if you didn't have sex at all? Yeah, it would be different, but every relationship is different. What use is it hiding yourself in fear of rejection? You can't cower in fear for the rest of your life. Again, easy for you to say, Zoe. You have guys hitting on you at all times. I don't have anyone that's interested in me. But, so excuse me for being new to this. I mean, it's easy for people to look at you and ease their mind into it. I mean, it might be easier for people to see you in a normal relationship. For me, I'm like a brick wall. No one wants to look at it. Being closer to normal isn't always a good thing. Okay, you know what? No, you don't understand anything I'm going through. Telling someone that sex is completely off the table? No, you're right. I can't understand what you're going through not fully, and you can't understand what I'm going through fully. You know what? You can hook up with someone. That's not even an option for me. Yeah, you can go out and hook up with someone. But you can just go out and be seen completely normal, have a completely normal relationship with someone. You don't understand what's stopping me. How can you even say that? I don't want to be normal. You, you can't know how hard it is to walk around in this gray area and be told that I'm wrong every single time I try to meet someone new. It's a mistake. I should not have come here. I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah. 
that in the other part. So you said there was something you wanted to tell me? Yeah. I uh, just don't really know how to say it. We've been going out for going on three months. I hope you're not afraid to tell me. Yeah, I just... I don't think you're going to see me the same way after this. Okay, now you're just building the suspense. I'm guessing you can see our relationship isn't exactly normal. And that we don't do the same things that most people find necessary in a relationship. The thing is, that's the only way I, I can be in a relationship. See, I don't, I don't see people the same way. I don't want the same things in a relationship that most people do. I'm asexual. I understand if that weirds you out, or you want to stop seeing me. It's not what you signed up for. I just want to say I'm, I'm really glad you told me. I, I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you. I'll text you later, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. Zoe? Zoe, are you in here? Zoe! Zoe? I know you probably don't want to let me in. And I completely get that. God, I was a gigantic ass. I said some pretty awful shit to you. And I put all of my own insecurities on you. And for that I'm so sorry. I want you to know that I'm here whenever you need me. I want you to know that you're so strong. 
probably the strongest person I know. And, uh, you know, some people, some strong people fall down sometimes. And that's okay, because uh, the strongest they get back up. And I just said all that shit because I was insecure about my own sexuality and I'm, I'm jealous about how confident you are in yours. So really, anytime you need me, I'm right here. Do you want to talk about it? You don't have to talk about it, but know that I'm, I'm right here if you ever want to. I, I lost myself, Pete, and I, I hate myself for it. I hate that without Oliver, I am in an identity crisis, and I hate that a relationship made me who I am. And without it, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You're, you are Zoe. You are strong, you are patient, and you are generous. And you love everything with your whole heart. You're my best friend. I, I don't know what happened last night, but nothing changes that. Nothing changes who you are inside. We all make mistakes and we all have errors in judgment. Which doesn't make us bad people. No matter how you identify, there are going to be hard times. Life is a trial by fire. Some of us are thrown right onto the ashes and some are quickly rescued. Knowing your value is no easy thing, but it's the key to surviving in this fire. You have to burn as bright as you can. That's not to say we're alone in this. Walking through flames is so much easier with others. The world can tell you so many lies, but there are those out there that will pick you up and breathe air into your lungs again. All right, I'll stop with the poetic bullshit. Let's just say the smiles will return and the sun will shine again. Yes, I am different, and that makes things harder, but I won't change who I am to make other people comfortable. I am who I am, and I am ace AF. <laughs>